Yes, living out here in the country certainly has its perks. So today I'm out exploring and I do have a goal in mind. It's about an hour and a half away and hopefully I can make it there, but if not, at least it's beautiful out. And you know, it's a good day to go out and exercise. <laughs> There's like street art, literally. <laughs> okay, so I'm still on my journey to where I need to go. And uh, I came across this. <laughs> this is a bridge. The bridge is a railway. This is a walking path underneath said railway. It has a clearance of 1.6 meters. Yeah, we're gonna be crouching. <laughs> Watching heads! Oh, oh my gosh, I have to crouch down so much, I'm so short. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, a real sidewalk. I could almost cry. Look at this, I have space between my feet and the actual road. <gasps> oh. It just keeps going and going and going and going. Ah! This is amazing. So looking at the time, I am not going to get to my destination before it closes, or I'm gonna get there right as it's closing. Um, basically, I wanted to go to my local botanical gardens uh, I think I'm going to complete the walk there, you know, get in the exercise, at least maybe see if there's some areas I could check out. Maybe it's just the visitor center that closes at four and the park itself is still open. But uh, I think I'm just going to enjoy my stroll a little bit more versus rushing to get there now because there's no way I can make it before it closes. <sighs> oh well. But, you know, it's really pretty here. Okay, I just had the most pleasant conversation with these two old ladies. They were super, super sweet and super, super nice. And between my horrible Japanese and their much better English, <laughs> we had a lovely conversation about taking pictures and heading off to the gardens and just basically enjoying life. So I think that made the trip out here worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna like slap their faces on the internet or anything like that for you guys to see because you know Japan's really, really into privacy and stuff. But I, I'm, I'm very happy that that happened. I like this path. There are no cars on this path. An occasional bike, but that's not as scary as cars passing not even a foot from you. <laughs> Hello. 
Aren't you gorgeous? Okay, so between those old ladies and this amazing walking path, the trip out here alone has been worth it, even if they're closed. I mean, look at these flowers. They're gorgeous and they're everywhere. He is a very, very handsome bird. So apparently there's supposed to be some sort of shrine near here. So I'm thinking once I get to my destination. Oh, there he goes. Hi, handsome. Bye-bye. Anyway, like I was saying, there's a shrine nearby, I think, from at least what Google Maps is saying. Um, I think I'm going to get to the Botanical Gardens and then maybe on my way back hit up the shrine. I don't know. Let's see. So all of those trees up there are part of the Botanical Gardens, but there's a river between me and them, so I need to find where the entrance into there is. That is the goal. I probably have to walk around like the entire other side. So, I made it. They close in like 14 minutes though, so I can't really go inside the visitor center but hey set a goal man if you can dream it you can achieve it and it's so pretty out definitely worth a walk I think I probably said that several times already but I don't know this is my first day in Japan that I've actually had to myself and I think this is this has been a good day. A really good day. Yeah, they're super closed, but uh, you know, at least this building is pretty cool. Alright, I think I'm going to try and see if I can get to that temple that I mentioned, or shrine, shrine, not temple, I mentioned a few minutes ago. To get to the temple, it involves actually cutting through parts of the botanical gardens, and see there's this lovely little pond here and this great little walking path but you can tell that the temperatures starting to get up a little bit because the bugs are coming out 
Ugh. Don't really care about those. And another thing you need to know if you come here is if you have a canine friend, you need to make sure you clean up after them. <laughs> Rice patties. Lots of rice patties and irrigation systems like crazy, man. I knew Japan had a lot of water, but there is water everywhere around here. Everywhere. This lovely thing gives you lots of information about how they dug out like all the rice paddies and the irrigation systems and stuff like that around here. Uh, problem is, is that a lot of this is a lot of kanji and I could make out some of it, especially the parts that had the furigana, which are the little, uh, the little hi hiragana writings above the kanji, but uh, a lot of it I really don't understand. But it's nice that it's here. Behold. I am Japanese kitty. I enjoy the sunshine and the leaves. What do you want from me? Okay, so Google wanted me to go to some convoluted route, but I decided I think I'm gonna go as the crow flies, and I just started walking in a straight line. Or what's that phrase? A beeline? Yeah. A nice little shrine. The funny thing is, is you can find these things all over the place in Japan. All over the place. So we still have a couple hours left of daylight, but uh, it's it's getting pretty cold out. Sun is kind of hiding behind the mountains now. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to wind up finding some food and then catching the train back home. Which is funny because literally it's like two stops, so I'll be on the train for like five minutes. But walking that five minutes would probably take me an hour. <laughs> so plans. The issue is, is that the next train leaves in about seven minutes. It will take me about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get to the station. And then the next train after that is like an hour or so. So I'm debating on whether I want to go eat at an actual restaurant or find some sort of convenience store and just nibble on some stuff from the convenience store and then head on over to the station. I don't know. If I see something good, maybe I'll stop and get some food. But I think I think convenience store is is the plan right now. But you know, I've I have only eaten out a few times since I've been in Japan. So it would be really nice to find a good restaurant with some like traditional Japanese food. You know, something besides the stereotypical, oh, here's some sushi, or just a izakaya, which was which is fun, by the way. I, I enjoy going to izakayas, even though I've only been to one. I actually found an alcoholic beverage that I can drink called umeshu, and umeshu is essentially a plum alcohol. They take a bunch of plums, throw it in a whole bunch of sugar, and ferment it, I guess. That's how you get alcohol, right? 
And, uh, whoo, lordy. That stuff is dangerous because it just tastes like candy. And I don't normally drink alcohol, so I'm a bit of a lightweight. I had two drinks and on the rocks, and I was all fuzzy feeling. and It was crazy. That's just somebody's yard. Okay, so, Japanese pro tip. The blue drinks are cold. The red drinks and the ones that are labeled hot are warm and hot. When your hands are very cold, what you do is you buy yourself a hot drink and you hold on to it and it warms up your hands and then you have something nice to drink as well. And I got myself this lovely tea. I haven't actually had this one yet, so I hope it's good. Holy crap, it like quadrupled. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What? 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 It's, it's amazing. Yeah, so this, this station's run on the honor code, apparently. Yeah, so the station is so tiny. This is the little waiting area that's kind of enclosed. And it's warm in here, warmer than outside. But uh, as you could see from outside, it's pretty much the honor system because you could very easily just hop onto the train and not pay, which would be very bad. But, you know, at least, at least it's easy to get around around here. And this is a nice little thing. Um, I haven't actually seen where I could fill up my Suica here, because it looks like it's so small you have to buy, like, individual tickets. So, if you didn't have enough money on your card already, you'd probably have to fill it up at the next station or the station where you arrived at, versus just, uh, topping it off here. Oh, and uh, Suica is like Metro card. Um, it works for the JR lines and can be used for, you know, the trains that are, well, JR trains and then some other trains. Um, if you put enough money on it, you can even use it for the Shinkansen slash bullet train. Uh, you can also use it at some Kombini convenience stores. Uh, and you can use it at some vending machines. And you can also use it at a few restaurants, too. I also saw some stores that let you use Suica. It's like a travel metro card slash visa debit card all in one. So it's pretty useful.
Good looking. That is a very handsome bird right there. <laughs>